Born the son of American slaves and raised in the humbling conditions of poverty and prejudice, George Washington Carver overcame the barriers of his childhood to achieve world renown as a distinguished scientist, poet, painter, and teacher. From an early age, Carver pursued an interest in plants, an interest that led him to Iowa State University and a graduate degree in botany. Dr. Lewis H. Pommel, the distinguished scientist for whom Carver worked at Iowa State, called him a brilliant student, the best collector, and the best scientific observer I have ever known. Carver's use of innovative agricultural methods and scientific research to produce everyday consumer products would change forever the nature of farm economics and sustainability. Carver devoted his career to teaching sustainable farming, which for him included developing new uses of agricultural products that could boost farm profits and move farmers away from monoculture. To help farmers adopt sustainable practices, Carver and his students developed more than 300 industrial uses for peanuts, sweet potatoes, and other crops that could be grown in rotation with cotton and corn. Carver's inventions also included plastics, glue, soap, paints, dyes for cloth and leather, medicines, and cosmetic ingredients. His work inspired leaders of the Kemmergy movement, whose proponents looked for ways to replace petrochemicals with farm-derived products. Leaders in the Kemmergy movement, such as Charles Kettering and William J. Hale, proposed that anything made from a hydrocarbon could be made from a carbohydrate. If Carver were alive today, he would marvel at the new tools of modern biotechnology, tools that are helping achieve a brighter and more sustainable future. He would also see that his dreams are being realized by a new generation of scientists, farmers, business leaders, and innovators. Today, Bio is proud to inaugurate the first annual George Washington Carver Award for Innovation in Industrial Biotechnology.